What's up guys, it's Shining Eevee 123 back again with some more Pokemon Crystal Nuzlocke. I know it's been a couple weeks since I uploaded, but we are finally here with some more of the Nuzlocke. Now for some reason when you beat the Elite Four, um, you end up outside your house. I actually went inside the house to save and when you come home your mother's going to be in the kitchen. Um, but for some reason after that she's just sitting on the chair, so I don't know. It's weird. Uh how much have we got to take out held? Okay, so I'm just gonna take Yeah, I'm gonna take twenty thousand. What? Are you Oh, I see. Oh, I see. No, never mind. I'm being stupid. Never mind. Forget about it. But, um, uh, yeah, if you didn't watch the Elite Four, unfortunately, we did lose a couple of team members. Uh, we lost Tauros and we lost, uh, Magmar. Unfortunately, it would have been nice to keep him around. Um, but we now have to choose, uh, you know, choose two new team members to come along with us. So I'm going to head over to Olivine City, because that is our next location, and I'm quickly going to put Magmar and Tauros in the All-Stars box, because that is where they deserve to be. Okay, I have to... This is what I don't like, you have to save every time you, uh... Oh wait, I need to take those items off quick. Oh wow, it's been- this is how long it's been since I've played, guys. I don't even remember how to play the game. <laughs> but yeah, X is fully underway. Um, by the time you're watching this, I think I upload- I've uploaded about seven or eight episodes by the time you're watching this, so things are going pretty well. Um, I have been a slacker with uploading, um, X- just because I haven't been fully committed, and that is my fault entirely. But, uh, yeah. It's a, sh it's a shame we lost two of our most valuable team members, really, because... Let me just check. Yeah, th this is the all-star box. There's Polarity, Nutcracker, BS Shifter, Sh Sasha. Um, so there we go. We have uh, 15 Pokemon in this box that we can choose from, so let's take a quick look at what we have. Um, I now can take another normal type if I wanted to add one to the team. For now, I don't think I'm going to, just because it's not a massive deal uh, right now. I mean, I'm happy to use four team members for now, because it's not the Elite Four. It isn't an important battle coming up, so... You know, 14 members isn't that bad. Oh. We haven't got a ticket! Okay. This is how long it's been, guys. Um, let's fly to there, because I'm pretty sure if we, we have to talk to Elm to get that ticket. So, let's do this. Yes, we do. Don't know why I forgot about this, actually. I mean, obviously you need it. <laughs> I mean, obviously you need it. Why would... Why was I thinking you don't? This is crazy. But, we have it now. I, I mean, we're all over the place. Um, I think it's because I'm tired. It's early. Right, back to Olivine City. And now, we can head back to here. And finally, board the SS Aqua. And it conveniently, it conveniently departs as soon as we get on board. But he walks into us. Um, yeah, this is the fun. This is basically our little side mission to find his granddaughter. I mean, I don't know why we have to do it, but we do. So. We don't have to be down here yet. 
I'm just gonna go exploring all the rooms, um, start over here and work our way around, I guess. I think this is our room, we can withdraw Pokemon, heal, etc. We don't need to do any of that right now. So, yeah. Nothing in this one. Uh, let's see, because... Ah, there's a trainer. Let's see what he has, because I don't actually remember. <laughs> let's go. Our first battle of the Kanto region part of the game is against Heiko Noland, and he has a Sand Slash on his team. Alright. Good job, Lantern is still up front. Now, actually, if you're playing through Heart Gold Soul Silver, this part of the game is going to be. Uh, well, the levels are going to be a bit higher than they are here. Like, the levels are going to be really low. So, it's not that difficult of an after game. So, hopefully, fingers crossed, we don't lose anyone, but you never know. And we still get an encounter on every single route, so. You know, that's going to be fun. And, uh, oh, there's Golem, of course. Golem goes down. And seeing that Golem takes me back to when I uh, did my Pearl playthrough. And I do plan to go back and redo that, because that was absolutely awful. But, you know, t t uh, that day is not right now. Uh, uh, this, right, what we're doing right now is Crystal. And Crystal is, without a doubt, one of the better games that we played. And this is the guy who lost his granddaughter. And he's not even going to bother looking for her. He's just going to sit in his room. Procrastinating. Dude, get on with it. <laughs> you have a job to do. Don't rely on me. I'm just the main protagonist. Whoa! I was not expecting that. I guess I rushed forward too quickly. But, yeah. This guy's got a... Deli Bird! Ladies and gentlemen, we are facing Shady Penguin himself. Look at this, we're level 42 and we're rocking with Spark. How great is that? That, that much experience from a Dally Bird? That is... Wow, okay. Now before I do anything else, this is not a double battle. Everything except, wow, Moth is 43, I didn't even realize. Let's put Miss Piggy up front, just because I don't want to use uh, Lantern for the whole thing. So, yeah, let's get into this battle. And, uh, let's, let's find something to talk about, because it's not fun when we talk about things that are strictly Pokemon, do we? So, yeah, there we go. Um, that's the thing, I don't know what to talk about. Um, who is looking forward to the movies we have coming out this year? Um, Lego Batman's out soon. Um... The, U the new Yu-Gi-Oh! movie's out already, but I haven't seen it yet. Um, what else? Uh, the new Star Wars is out this year, at the end of this year, so that's pretty exciting. I can't wait to see that. That's going to be super exciting. Really is. Um, but actually I'm looking forward to the end of this month because I'm going bowling at the end of the month, so I'm looking forward to that. It's been a, I think it's been a few, a couple years at least since I've been bowling, so I might be a little rusty, but who knows, right? Who knows what's going to happen? There's nothing in here. Why are all these rooms empty? I want to battle some trainers. Alright, I know exactly what you have. Uh, I think, at least. Yeah, so... You know what, Rogue is the only Pokemon so far who hasn't had any, uh, battle time. So, we're gonna put him up front. I'm gonna cut away really quick, and I'll be back with you guys in just a moment. Welcome back! Alright, I've done all what I need to do, so... You know, if you're new to the channel, I can only record for 10 minutes at a time, so I have to cut away whenever I feel like it's appropriate to, 
And honestly, that was a good time, so there we go. Um, so what I've noticed is at this point in, um, when I was doing Pearl, at this point, because we're at episode 33 now, but at this point in Crystal, I had five gym badges. Oh, sorry, at this point in Pearl, I have five gym badges. At this point in Crystal, I have beaten the Elite Four, and I'm on my way to the post-game. How weird is that? How crazy is that to think about? That I'm doing better in Crystal than I ever did in Pearl, which was my first ever Let's Play on this channel. That is crazy. But, actually, I'm quite glad to be back doing Crystal, because I've just been in Nuzlocke mode ever since starting this, I think back in, I think it was September, I think, yeah, I think it was September or October when I started this Nuzlocke, it was probably September, but, um, yeah, most likely it has been September, but, oh well, uh, it's been fun doing this game, honestly, um, I've enjoyed it, but ever since September I've just been in constant Nuzlocke mode, and it's been really difficult, so there we go. And uh, oh right, we get a crit with the earthquake, and in case you're wondering, coughing does not have levitate yet, so we're able to get away with hitting the thing with an earthquake. <laughs> Which is very weird, because if we hit an earthquake on this bow, I'm pretty sure it's going to sink. Are you going to... no? He's goofing off somewhere. Right, I have a feeling who you're talking about. Is it you? Nope. Where the... oh, is it you? No, not you. Definitely not you. Right, now this is the this is the fun part. This is the interesting part of the game, trying to find where this slacker of a um pilot of a uh, the sailor is. That's him. Pretty sure he wasn't here before, was he? I'm pretty sure he was not here before. <laughs> oh well. Machop! Good job we have uh, Crobat up front still, because this Machop would be a pain to kill. And I am still salty about the fact that Crobat cannot learn Sludge Bomb in this game. I really, really am. Just because it is a move you would want your Crobat to have, and it cannot learn it. Sayayayda. I have a feeling that we're going to be using Lantern a lot in this, in this uh, after game. I do have two water types. I didn't want to do it that way, but that's the way it turned out. And actually, I'm glad I made the decision, because Lantern's been an, an amazing team member since, well, since we added it to our team the episode before the Elite Four, so probably about three parts to go, and it's already probably our strongest team member. But there is one thing I've learned about doing Nuzlocke's, and that is that you can never get attached to one specific Pokemon. Because if you do that, and that Pokemon dies, you're going to be even more heartbroken. And that's what happened when Magma died. I got so attached to her that Eventually, when she did, did uh, when her time was up, it was so sad. So, my advice to you, if you ever do a Nuzlocke, do your best to not get attached to one particular Pokemon, because you're not gonna like it when that Pokemon dies in the Nuzlocke. And sorry for super speeding at any point, by the way, it's just because I want to try and fit in uh, this whole boat, and I obviously cannot do that. And now this guy's gonna let us pass. All right. This guy's being seasick. Wonderful. 
just wonderful. Mr. Mime. It's only level 29, so this should be a piece of cake. I mean, we're 13 levels higher than this thing. And we still can't kill the thing! Oh, but meditate. That's fine. It's gonna use meditate. We can get through that easy. We can get through that easy. There we go. We killed the thing. Told you, piece of cake. Right. What's next? Magma. Oh my god. No. Bad memories of magma. Bad memories of magma. Oh man. I have bad memories of magma. Just reminds me of my magma that didn't make it. Hey, there we go. It's fine. I'm over Magma already. I mean, I know she... You know, only lost... She lasted a long time, actually. I'm trying to figure out who our longest reigning team member is on our team, though. I think it could be Crobat. It might be just be Crobat, who is officially our longest running team member. But... I'm not too sure, because I know... Yeah, I think it is. Even though it doesn't really matter, because at the end of the day, if a Pokemon dies, we can't use it again, but... You know, it's been an incredible run with these Pokemon, so... Hey, there we go. Juggler Fritz. Oh, what do you want, Tully? I'm in the middle of something. Okay, so he, Tali's the one that gives us the Thunderstone, he's probably going to have one for us, hopefully, but we don't actually need one right now. One, we don't have Pikachu, two, we don't have Eevee, because our Eevee died way, way earlier. And it's a shame, because I would love to use Jolteon and actually, honestly, replace, um, Lantern, because I don't want two water types, but it would be pretty cool to have something. It, you know, I like having Lantern around. It's not the worst thing. Raticate. Alright. Raticate, I hope you die from this. Oh, you're gonna quick attack me. Great! That only did 10 damage, it's fine. Come on, come on, come on. What is wrong with you? Oh, you- we missed two flies in a row, are you kidding me? There we go, you finally hit the thing, right? I thought you were good, man. Uh, woman, jeez. Do your job! 130 speed, though. I'm not complaining about the 130 speed. Alright. Let's, uh, switch to, um, Pilot Swine. And this is funny, I actually have three of my four team members are female. I didn't realize that until just now. But, you know, it's not a bad thing. It's just not a good thing. And I can't believe Powder Snow hardly did anything to the rat okay, That's shocking. Oh, well, I'm just gonna Earthquake, because apparently it's okay to use Earthquake on a boat. You know, it's not like the boat's Titanic or anything. It's not like... It's the what? You, you, yeah, you get the you get the picture. Anyway, um, this is a good time to pause and cut away really quick while I refresh the recording. So, guys, see you back in just a sec. All right, now that we've done that, I forgot to switch Crobat from the front. Whoopsie! <laughs> oh well. Let's uh, get on with this. She has a Sea King, which hopefully doesn't have Horn Drill. Actually, even if it did have Horn Drill, it wouldn't matter because we're a higher level than it, so the Horn Drill wouldn't affect us. You're level 33. We're the League Champions, 
And the best move you have to hit is with is Fury Attack. Really? This is why I don't like after games, people, because it's not like the, you know, it's not like the regular game where you just sit and battle trainers that you can easily match up against really well. But like, the post game is just trainers that you're just going to sweep through. And that's what I don't like about a lot of post games. But, we've, uh, there's this. It's this little girl. Okay, so she's not gonna make us play hide and seek with her uh, like she does in the remakes, but but that's fine. Um, we get the metal coat, which evolve, which um, can evolve Onyx into Steelix when if, when uh, traded while holding it, and Cipher to Scizor when traded while holding it. But unless you have a link cable, you can't get either of them. So yippee. And we're actually uh, done with the boat, so there we go. Yeah, we are done with Jota. We are officially in the Kanto region. Well, we've been in the Kanto region before when we took on the Elite Four, but now we can actually do other things around the region. And it's not like, you know, it's not... It's not like it's a boring post game. It's definitely got a lot of stuff to do in it. And, you know, one thing, of course, is this giant Snorlax that's blocking our way. But we'll deal with that later. Now, one thing that I do with this game, or that I do like with this, is that in the Kanto region, you don't have to fight, uh, fight the gym leaders in the order that they're meant to be fought in. You can like fight them in any order you want. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm not going to uh, go out of my way to fight them all in order. So I'm not going to go Brock, Misty, uh, Lieutenant Surge, that general order. I'm just going to do whatever I feel like I'm going to be want to do. And I'm just going to do the order that I've always done uh, fought them in. So, and since we're here in Vermilion City, that is going to be the gym we're going to take on next. So, but, you know, I've got to get a team prepared, a team put together, because it's going to be crazy if we don't have a proper team together for the gym. So that's what I'm going to do. And we get a rare candy for listening to, that, to uh, that guy's story. This house, I don't think has anything important. Magnet Train goes from Golden Rod to Johto. So that would be nice to have that Pokemon Center. This place used to be the Fishing Guru's house. Oh, the Fishing Dude. Um, talks about the Lake of Rage. Um, yeah, no, he, he doesn't give us a Fishing Rod in this game, but he does give us a if you're playing like red and blue in that. So, Route 6. We do get a Route 6 encounter. Let's see what we get. Right, okay, that is dupes. So, let's see if we can get anything else. Snubble, that isn't dupes. So, that is our encounter for this route, unfortunately. Actually, no, not unfortunately. I mean, it's funny because we still have our Master Ball. I'm actually going to save that for something else. Because it's going to be incredible. One, two, three, nope. It's another female snubble, which I'm not too upset about. There we go. Because I can now call it after my actual real life dog, who has actually made appearances, I think, in some videos. Because you might have been able to hear her barking in the background. But By the way, I didn't name her this. So if you disagree with this name, I didn't name her this uh, uh, Bramble. My parents actually named her, so that's the name she's stuck with. Actually, that's going to be a oh, wrong building. That's going to make a great normal type for the team, actually, because Gramble's a pretty underrated Pokemon, in my opinion. So, yeah. Um, I'm actually going to end the episode off here. Um, apologies, is actually a shorter one, but there's not a whole lot I want to do. Plus, I want to put a team together, and I have a pretty good idea on what I'm going to use, so that's going to be it. 
Guys, thanks for watching. If you're enjoying the series, make sure you leave a like on the video. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the little bell next to the subscribe button so you instantly know when I upload next. And Shining Eevee123, uh, over and out.